the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which by the time you watch this has either started already, is about to start any minute, or was never going to start at all. And one reason no one seems to know exactly what is going to happen is that Russia is playing all sorts of mind games. As Russia claims it is pulling back troops from Ukraine's border, a senior Biden administration official accuses Russia of lying and of moving troops around while adding 7,000 to the some 150,000 troops already near Ukraine's borders. Britain's military intelligence chief, in a rare statement, said there have been sightings of additional armored vehicles helicopters and a field hospital moving toward Ukraine's borders. There are now questions this morning about why Russia would claim to de-escalate while apparently not doing it. Propaganda, a play to create confusion, or deliberate misdirection to hide an attack. They have not moved any of their troops out. They've moved more troops in. Number one, every indication we have is they're prepared to go into Ukraine, attack Ukraine. Okay, okay, wait, 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 people, people, people. Can I ask you a question? Why is America's president always answering questions in front of a helicopter? Like, is there not a better solution to this? And it's not just Biden, like Trump the whole time, what we gotta be doing as we go, and then Biden, oh, no, we're trying to do, like, turn the helicopter off until he gets on. You're wasting fuel. And do you know how much gas is right now, Joe Byron? You're also saying important things. You don't want people to mishear what you say. Imagine if I was like, hey, guys, hey, guys, as Trevor Noah, I've discovered something that will solve all of the world's problems. What we need to do... Is, ...and that's what'll solve the world. But yes, America's accusing Russia of lying about pulling troops back from Ukraine while actually still preparing to invade it. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, it wouldn't be a surprise if Russia is being sneaky. I mean, this is the same country that hides dolls inside bigger dolls. You know how sick you have to be to do that? You think you found the final... You think there's, like, a doll. Oh, I'm so happy. And then he's like, it's another doll. Was I happy enough? Now I feel bad. I didn't show the gratitude to the person. I didn't know it was two dolls. It's three dolls. I didn't show three dolls gratitude. It's four dolls. Then I'm like, how many dolls? Then I break the last one because I thought there was another one inside. Now I broke my toy. But Russia insists that they're putting the troops back. That's what they say. Even though all the satellite evidence shows that they're adding even more troops to the border. And people are saying that what Putin is doing here is really disingenuous, but can I be honest with you? I really actually understand this move. In fact, anyone who's ever played Call of Duty knows what this move is all about, right? Your mom calls you down for dinner, and what do you do? Yeah, I'm coming, mom! I'm just wrapping up a mission! I'll be right there! All right, guys, let's go again. This time, stop messing around on the buy station, Nick! Come on! America is certain, they are certain that Russia is still planning to invade. In fact, today, the U.S. Secretary of State even said that what Russia might do to justify an invasion is launch fake or even real chemical weapons at themselves and then blame it on Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, uh, spoilers, hello. And secondly, can you imagine that staging a chemical attack on yourself to justify your invasion. That's pretty messed up. Especially for the Russian soldiers who have to carry out the mission. So we launched this on ourselves, but this is fake, yes? Yeah, we will find out when bomb explode. Ah, mystery, excitement. And you know, people, as erratic as the Russians' actions might seem, you understand what they're doing right now, right? They're playing chess. This is literally what chess is all about. Oh, I'm moving forward. Oh, I'm moving backwards. Oh, I'm attacking. No, I'm not. The horse is going this way. Then it turns. This is what Russia's doing. This is literally it. And the Russians love playing chess. They've been designed for this moment. Meanwhile, the rest of us, we don't play chess anymore. We love dumb games now. We're like, oh, I need a five-letter word that ends in D-E. Plate? No. All right, let's move on from a country that's trying to take over the world to a dictatorship that already runs the world. Disney. The magical company is known around the world for its amusement parks, its movies, and for having the fanciest rats. But now, they're apparently moving into real estate. You see, yesterday, Disney announced that it will be building planned communities where residents can be, quote, part of Disney all the time. Which, I guess, means you have to wait in line for three hours to use your own bathroom. And look, guys, as much as I'm for decriminalizing drugs, I don't know if we should encourage people to take them at work. 
because this sounds like an idea that was inspired by uh, something extra, if you know what I mean. Like, what if the whole world was Disney all the time? Like, just all the time. Oh, I love this guy. He's so, he's so great. I love it. Disney all the time. Oh man, I'm so fed up right now. Oh, oh. And now look, don't get me wrong. I love Disney, by the way. I personally love Disney. I love Disneyland. I love Disney World. But I think the Disney experience will lose its magic if you relive it every day. You can't do Disney every day. I mean, like, I don't want to pretend I'm a make-a-wish kid to cut lines every day. You gotta do that like twice a year at max, you know, special occasions. And by the way, if you think this idea sounds creepy, just like living in Disney all the time, wait until you see the promo video that they released. These vibrant communities will be infused with Disney placemaking. Picture an energetic community with the warmth and charm of a small town and the beauty of a resort. A place that entices inspiration and makes every moment more memorable than the last. A story living by Disney community is something truly special. Communities infused with Disney place making. Am I the only one who thinks that sounds like a cult? Like, I'm not saying it is a cult. You saw how it looked and how it sounded. It feels like a cult, you know? I'm not saying it is a cult. I'm just saying it feels like a cult. Yeah. Like, if you decide to live there, don't be surprised if you get home one day and it ends with Goofy banging your wife. <laughs> I mean, even if it's not a cult, I don't trust it. You know, a perfect community that just feels like an ideal small town. I saw WandaVision Disney. You're not fooling me. I know how this shit ends. And by the way, by the way, this isn't the first time that Disney has tried to invent a town that people live in, right? Back in the 90s, Disney built a community in Florida called Celebration that also had a lot of hype at first. And then a few years later, did so badly that they had to offload it to a private equity firm. I mean, so what does Disney think? They think they can just rehash the same idea with a modern spin and then people will throw money at it? It'll never work. It's just not gonna work.